This unusual looking device is called a pipe diver. It's a submersible tool used to inspect water pipelines. The pipe diver is the newest addition to the inspection techniques we use at Denver Water. Touch low, but not by much. It's a free swimming condition assessment tool for our pipes that we're trying out for the first time. In the fall of 2020, Denver Water used the high-tech piece of equipment to inspect two of its underground pipelines. The pipe diver it looks a, a bit maybe like a prehistoric fish. It actually goes inside the pipe when it's full of water and it runs down the inside of the pipe, taking measurements, gathering information, large amounts of data all along the way. 36. Before going into the pipe. 37. The team from Pure Technologies gets the pipe diver's electronics ready and puts it in a pool to set the balance. That's perfect. It then goes through final disinfection and is brought to the inspection site. The biggest benefit of the pipe diver is that we do not have to take the pipeline out of service. It can stay full of water in service the entire time we're doing the condition assessment. The 10 foot long device has no motor and simply floats through the pipe. As the pipe diver starts its assessment, 75 meters downstream, we have tracking teams that are tracking its movements at all time. We're actually able to get right to the pipe wall with our technology and be very accurate with how healthy the pipeline is. Denver Water has about 3,000 miles of pipes across the metro area. And as those pipes get older, the risk of failures, like large water main breaks, increases. The data from the pipe diver will help us identify immediate areas of concern and also help us learn what we can expect out of the pipeline in the future. The transducers are not bad. The pipe diver uses ultrasonic equipment to inspect metallic pipes like cast iron and electromagnetic technology to inspect concrete pipes. What we're looking for with the concrete pipe is the wires that are around the pipe. When those wires break, that actually can cause catastrophic failure. When we inspect a metallic pipe, we actually go through and measure the thickness of the pipe wall. So wherever there is a place where the thickness is less than what it should be, we pinpoint that location as a potential issue. The pipe diver is there. Once the pipe diver completes its assessment, crews use a net to stop it and then pull it out of the pipeline. How'd it go? Everything went really smooth. We got the, uh, we got the intended scope completed. Pipe Diver did its job and uh, we anticipate pulling good data from the tool. Our main goal with these proactive inspections is to prevent pipeline failures. We have a variety of techniques we use to inspect our pipelines, but this is the first time we've used the Pipe Diver, so we're very interested to see what it finds.